Hi, uh, in this video we're going to solve the previous assignment and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to check one text input, for example the first name from the previous video series uh, of the word form we developed, whether there was any input from the user and if there is no input then we need to inform the user and focus the related field. So let's go directly to the web editor where we have left. This is where we have left. Let me close the other file. Where we have left our form. Now, uh, so what we want to do is we want to check whether, let me show you the web page where we are. So we want to check whether the user has inserted something in this field or not. And if not, to give, uh, to alert the user. So essentially we want to check when the form is submitted and therefore we need to use the on submit event. So when the user actually submits the form, then uh, what we want to do is to check whether the user has inserted all uh, form fields. The name of the function, uh, I'm going to uh, name it uh, like that, handle form data. And then go back to my script, within my script tag, and specify a new function. The function is handle form data, and here we can specify what needs to be done. Now, as we mentioned, we want to check whether the first name is filled out or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable first name and assign it the value of of the element, whatever the user has inserted and this form field is going to go to this uh, variable and this is how to do that so we get the value from the element with uh, which has id first name and we insert it into this variable so now if it's going to essentially test whether this variable is equal to nothing Right, and if that's the case, then we want to alert the user. We want to give a message to the user. This fill out your first name. And since we also want to show the user where is it that he or she needs to do that, we're going to also bring into focus that uh, field, that element. And our function is also going to return, what is this? It does not return something, I'm going to use the return false. Now, since uh, uh, this is the on submit, uh, event we also need to include the return statement so the function is going to return false and therefore the form is not going to submit so let's go and check so I'm going to refresh the web page as you can see the this field is focused. Nevertheless, if I try to submit, I'm going to get a message when I click OK. This uh, field uh, is focused. Now, let's see what happens if I would remove this 
return statement. I'm going to refresh the web page, try to submit the page. I'm going to get a message. If I click the OK button, actually what you see is that the form is actually submitted to this uh, PHP page, which does not exist, but that's not something that we want. And in order to prevent it, we have included this return statement right here so that it prevents the form to submit. So let's check this again, whether it works correctly. So if I try to submit the form, here I get the message. The, fo uh, the focus comes back on this field and the form is not submitted due to this uh, return statement right here. And this concludes essentially uh, our assignment. So we saw how to check the text uh, input of a field and from the user if there is no input and then focus the related field. In the next video, we're going to get the value of a select tag, check it and change the visibility of other elements. And the use case is uh, that when a user selects a certain country from uh, the uh, workflow that we developed previously to show the provisions of that country. All of that uh, till the next video.